And uh, we do actually have the first match already prepared for you guys, so we'll be able to go ahead and get right on into it in just a moment here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the setup for game one of Bruh versus B VBB. We did see a Kaiser ban from Bra and an Alice ban from VBB. They also chose to play on Sunset for their map. Uh, and we did see a Cindy, Peter, and Ravi comp coming out of Bra. And we'll be seeing Rapunzel, Witch Queen, and Cindy coming out of the side of VBB. We do have our players all in the lobby, so we'll go ahead and get this started in just a moment here. All right, guys, everybody looks like they are ready. Map is locked in, and we'll go ahead and get started with this first game. Whole Bakery, Onage, and Melon Lord representing Bra, Bleed, Vital, and Blue representing VBB. Let's go ahead and take a look at these opening exchanges. Onage going a little bit low at the start. Melon Lord getting juggled now by Blue off to the side, but does find that large potion to get his health back for the most part. Uh, Vital able to find a pretty good uh, Witch Queen bomb there, as well as frogging Melon Lord with that rare ability. Bleed now coming back in, getting some good damage onto Onage. All three members of Bra getting very low, but able to keep able to stay alive for the time being. Bleed though finding a really good Cindy ult there, able to uh, maintain the point for his team. Vital now with that Witch Queen ult charged and ready. Rapunzel looking to land something too. The uh, the the ultimate of Bakery actually getting caught by Witch Queen's rare ability, but not going to be enough just yet. Uh, Bra able to take the objective back. Melon Lord extremely low, but his team does have a fair bit of health to work with moving into the next phase of the match here. One point to Bra, two points the way of VBB, and they are actually able to steal the point back. Uh, Melon Lord taking that early death into, into that uh, exchange there. Melon Lord now left alone to defend Vital with that Witch Queen rare ability ready to go as well as the ultimate blue finding a pretty good stun there but Melon Lord able to capitalize with two no three frogs actually coming out of Witch Queen uh, I don't know if that was just the ult or if it also included the rare ability but it do, it was definitely a triple frog we'll have to see what Bleed's able to do unfortunately not able to keep control of the point though Vital and Blue, though, now trying to work their way back in. Blue getting some really good damage onto Melon Lord, uh, who, in fact, is holding that Peter ultimate. A Cindy ultimate coming out of Onage, able to push all three members of VBB off of the points. A really good uh, Witch Queen ult there, though, to catch Bakery, turning him into a frog, and Blue able to finish off that kill. Melon Lord at the same time getting a kill onto Witch Queen. Onage now trying to find a way to get VBV off of this objective. Melon Lord as well. Onage landing a decent Cindy ultimate, but Vital right there able to keep control of the point for his team. Now getting pushed off in exchange for a Polymorph onto Melon Lord. Very, very tight game here. Both teams switching back and forth during their overtimes. We'll have to see if uh, Bra is able to capitalize this time. Looks like VBB able to get some position here. Will Vital find a good Witch Queen ult? Does not, but unfortunately Onage does get pushed out of the objective. And the point will fall back to VBB. 40 seconds on the clock now. We could be seeing this game go to time. That is definitely a possibility. But we do have both Ravi and Peter ults available. An amazing Ravi ult, but it gets interrupted by the Witch Queen rare ability. Bleed with a pretty good Cindy ult, able to get a little bit more time on that objective, but it does fall. They need to make something happen now. They have 15 seconds left, roughly. They'll need to capture the point. Reminder that it does take 1.5 seconds to capture, so they will need to account for that as well in their timing here. But able to push Melon Lord out of the point. The point flips in the last five seconds. Can Melon Lord pull this off? No. Gets caught by the Witch Queen ultimate and will fall. The game does go the way of VBB coming right down to the wire. Wow, a very intense match there coming out of VBB. All right, 
let's just go ahead and get that updated real quick. And it does look like our players are wanting to run it back on the same map. So we'll go ahead and jump right back into it for game two here in this best of five set. All right, VBB and Bra going into their second game of this best of five set. We'll have to see if Bruh is able to make those adaptations. Of course, that game extremely close. Both teams showing very dominant, uh, very dominant prowess in that match. But this time, the point falling first the way of Bruh. We'll have to see if they're able to capitalize on this and make a match out of it. Uh, the Witch Queen rare ability catching two in the frogs, but unfortunately they got out of the polymorphs very quickly. Bleed now with a nice Cindy ultimate to cancel the knockback from Melon Lord, keeping himself relevant in this match for the moment. Odage finally dropping now to Vital. Vital finding a good frog actually catches whole bakery's ultimate, I do believe. No, that was just, uh, I... Does that usually happen where if they get frogged it doesn't show the ultimate? I'm not entirely sure. But it very well might. Um, but it does appear that Bakery was actually able to hold on to that ultimate, not getting caught by the Witch Queen uh, ultimate there. All right, Vital extremely low. All right. Bleed actually finding some damage onto Onage and Bakery. Blue now left to kind of contest on his own. But the match does go 4-1 the way of uh, Bruh this time around. A much better showing from Bruh this time. Maybe just needed that one game to warm up real quick. But they do look like they're ready to go. Uh, actually, Vital may be asking for a map change here. We'll have to see. All right, it does look like all our contestants are ready to jump into game three. So let's go ahead and get that loaded up and see what happens here in this third game between Bra and VBB. All right, Onage using that Cindy skill early to get to the objective a little bit faster. Wants to get a forward position against uh, VBB. I think he wants to put a lot more pressure onto this Witch Queen, not let Vital kind of walk around too much. The Witch Queen rare ability about to be kicking in though, but Bleed actually putting a lot of damage into Bakery and Melon Lord. Blue unfortunately getting dropped first. Will Bleed be able to find the kill onto Bakery? He does. Vital extremely low, just clinging to life. But Bleed with a really good double Cindy ground skill, able to carry two of them straight on out of the objective. Bleed getting some damage onto Bakery now. Melon Lord coming back. All three members of Bra having their ultimate abilities. Onage finding a great ult there. Bleed answering back immediately though with damage uh, with, with his own ultimate. Bakery looking for the kill now. Bleed though able to juggle off of their heads. Able to land an, an amazing Cindy ultimate there in the middle of all of that damage. Bakery finally dropping now to Blue, Melon Lord extremely low, Onage getting caught by the Witch Queen rare ability. We'll have to see if Melon Lord's able to get dropped here. He does. Onage now relatively low, even though it is Cindy. Bakery now 5,000 HP left, 3,000 HP now. Melon Lord though coming back and finding that kill onto Bleed. Onage finding a potion for himself. Vital now looking for an opportunity here to put to tack some damage onto the enemy team. Needs to find his ultimate soon, hopefully. Uh, Vital actually with the Witch Queen ultimate available, but Blue doing all of the work inside of the objective right now. Able to finally catch Melon Lord with that Witch Queen bomb, uh, claiming the objective for VBB. Now we'll have to see if VBB is able to hold on to this. They are all very low, so it may be quite difficult for them. But a really good Witch Queen ultimate on to Bakery. Bleed now left alone to contest, but no Peter Ground skill available just yet. Coming up very soon. Tried to use it on to Blue there. Vital finding a good Witch Queen bomb. Bleed trying to ult back onto the point. Vital the last to contest for the moment. Blue now able to get back in. Catching Melon Lord with an amazing air skill. That ultimate catching Onage 
getting a lot of damage onto him. Bakery dropping now. If they're able to kill, and they do kill Melnord, and Ona's just going to get pushed off by Bleed, getting game two for VBB. Two games now for VBB, up 2-1 in the set. If they win one, they will proceed, and Bra will be sent to the loser's bracket. But if Bra is able to win the next two in a row, the opposite will happen. Let's see if they're able to make these adaptations and make a comeback here. We have seen now it's been back and forth. Will this continue? It needs to not. Even if Bra were to get this next match, they do need to get another one immediately after. So we'll have to see if they're able to pull that off here today. All right, Onage again going for that forward position. Seemed to work out well for them last match in the early portions of the game. But we'll have to see what he's able to do with it this time. Bakery finding damage onto Vital. Onage finding damage onto all three players. He's just all over the place, but now gets caught by that Witch Queen rare ability. Taken out of the frog early. Bakery, though, dropping very early. Melon Lord getting pushed all the way off the objective. Will have to reset his health. And Onage not able to keep control for his team the, the point falling the way of vbb and bleed now left all alone to contest the ravi ultimate catching him and able to get the objective for bruh blue now finding damage onto melon lord a huge rapunzel ultimate there coming out of blue bleed looking for some more opportunities wants to capitalize on all the pressure he's already laid on this match uh, Melon Lord finally dropping to Vital and Bakery now left with 800 HP. Getting fought in the corner by Bleed does find the potion and Bleed not being there unfortunately does lose the objective for VBB. <clears throat> Bakery finding the kill onto Vital Blue now full health and an ultimate away from potentially taking back this objective for his team. Unfortunately the ultimate does miss. Bleed, though, has his ultimate ready. Combos Melon Lord out of the point. Onage getting pushed off and the point falling once again the way of VBB, but immediately answered by Bra. Taken straight back. No resets the side of VBB. Very interesting. Uh, probably seemingly not wanting Bra to go up to that third point. Melon Lord getting caught by the edge of that Witch Queen ult. The hitbox very difficult to understand sometimes. And the point again in possession by VBB. Vital looking for a good opportunity with the bomb here. Unfortunately, not able to find anything with it. Bleed, though, finding the kill onto Bakery. Onage responding with his own ultimate. Melon Lord looking for an opportunity with this ultimate now. Unfortunately, missing Bakery, though, catching Blue with the Ravi ultimate. Bleed going to be left all alone to contest the objective for his team. Will he be able to hold this down? No, the Peter skill does get there in time. Blue, unfortunately, not able to get back any faster. Vital now looking for a kill onto Melon Lord. Maybe looking for a kill onto Onage as well. Gets damage onto both. Bakery extremely low. Pushing for pressure onto Vital. Vital now left all alone to contest. But Bakery not able to find anything on him just yet. Melon Lord getting caught by that Witch Queen rare ability. Blue now with a Rapunzel. It could be a game changer. Doesn't catch anybody. Neither does the Witch Queen ultimate. That's two missed ultimates. Melon Lord with the Peter ultimate. Not able to uh, push the whole team off just yet. Blue finding an opportunity. Possibly Bleed looking for an ultimate. Finds it, gets damage onto Onage and Melon Lord. Now Vital coming back once again. The Witch Queen rare again in play. If he can get his health low enough here. They do find a kill onto Melon Lord and onto Bakery. Now all that's left is pushing Onage off of the objective. They are very low health though. This could go either way very quickly. Five seconds left on the clock and the... Point gets flipped by Bakery with an amazing triple kill off of that Ravi ultimate. Able to win that match for his team. The set now being 2-2. Going into game 5. The very first set will be game 5. I'm telling you guys, tonight's going to be an intense night. Let's go ahead and get right back on into it. Don't want to ice out the players. Let's let them play off this momentum and see what they're able to do here. A 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and see Onich once again going for this forward position. I do like that from him, able to able to get a lot of control over the objective early. Vital found a pretty good slow onto Bra. Not fully able to capitalize just yet, but the point is leaning slightly the way of red team. That Witch Queen rare ability able to get them off just long enough that the point does fall. Vital actually, that, that bomb going right in the way of Onage's ultimate, catching him and finding both kills there onto Melon Lord and to Onage. Melon Lord now with his ultimate ready, but slowed, not able to get back to the objective just yet. Vital maybe going to be dropping soon here. Tries to ult, looking to counter Bakery, but unfortunately not able to find it. A bomb coming out of Bleed, though. Launching all three members of Bra away from the objective, giving them mo even more time on control. They're going to go up three points in this match. Bra going for one last reset here with Onage and Melon Lord. They have to make something happen now. They do not have any time left. If they lose too much health here, it could just be simply game over for them. Melon Lord unfortunately missing that Peter ultimate. What is going on there? Vital now getting comboed, but Onage able to cling to life for his team. Vital now finding a really good double frog there. Blue following that up with a Rapunzel ultimate of his own. Bakery forced to reset, and we're back in control by VBB. Going up into, again, the fourth point. Finish time. They just need to clear out this objective, and they have the health to do it now. Onage taking a lot of damage early in. Vital still with that rare ability in play. Bakery and Onage both getting caught by it. Pushed off of the objective. Double frogs with the ultimate. Onage, though, with the Cindy ult. Able to keep control of the objective for his team. Unfortunately, VBB not able to finish there, even though it may have looked dire for Bruh. Blue finding a double catch with that Rapunzel ultimate. Not going to be enough to get them fully off of the point. But again, we're in control once more by VBB. Bleed now looking for an opportunity. Vital finding a frog onto Bakery. Uh, getting a slow onto Onage as well. If Blue can manage to pull this off, it would be incredible for them. Bleed with really good damage there onto Melon Lord and Onage. All that's left for them to do is get Onage out of the objective once they kill Melon Lord. Will it happen? It does with the Rapunzel ultimate, and VBB takes game or takes the set against Bruh. Winners round one. VBB moving on in the winner's bracket and bruh getting sent down to the loser's side. They will face off against the winner later of two and a half Canadians versus BAP.